the ballerina. Of the ballerina that I, All I right. Coming back because I really would like to frame her. Okay, we're going to zoom in a little like bit. Face. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm forever doing well, faces. I don't like her chin. It's like too. No, these are all too into an I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't like the way this looks here. This here, her neck and her, her face coming in. Yeah, I separate her neck from her face. Yeah, I don't. Looks a little disconnected. Yeah, it looks a little disconnected. Okay, I see a couple yeah. things I could do. Yeah. Uh, let me move some. this out of the way. Oh, uh, okay. So I love her feet and I love her legs. Yeah, no. And this may be one of those cropping situations mm -hmm. because yeah, definitely, yeah. I think that's you know, a little bit of a I think that you know, right off the bat, you just don't need all of that all in of that, that. Mm -hmm. for her to pop. Yeah, it's all about her. The background, right? Makes a beautiful square. It makes a beautiful square. Mm. You that just don't need it. So really that really, problem. you know, so really good. helps it. So, okay, a couple things we could do. I like the wood grain. The wood grain is great. And she has enough of it going on that we do need a little bit of a shadow under her foot, Feet. I think, yeah. right? But let's work on the face. Another facelift. Dr. Jana. Dr. Jana. Dr. Jana is coming to do her reconstructive surgery. <laughs> oh, wait till you see her. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, I just soften that a little bit. I feel like her cheeks are a little pudgy. Mm. So I'm using a pretty small, um, and I think I could even break a little bit of that background to go into the shadow of her eye, just to throw it in a little bit of shadow. Because it really is not about that. This disconnect, I think, is because you have, um, we just have to color, like have a little bit of color kind of come down from the back of her ear to her neckline. It's a little dragon's blood. That's what I was using. Of course it's what you were using. <laughs> And you're just missing some nice little details on her dress. Like, you know, and of course, this is where I go into my FIT days, the, the mm -hmm. strap going around her shoulder and, mm -hmm. you know, those types of things. Now it's a little bit more connected. Oh, yeah. It's usually with faces, it's such a subtle little thing And I think her eye needs a little, her nose, I think it all needs like a little bit, a little bit more. I wish I had, you don't have the reference on this, do you? Not with me, no, I didn't. All right, oh. I'm on my own, I know, I get it. <laughs> little, there's usually, to define the nose, it's not by outlining the nostrils, there's usually like a little bit of a shadow under the nose. And usually, the upper lips have got the um, uh, the upper lips have got the shadow, and the bottom lip it catches the light. So we put a little bit of a shadow underneath her bottom lip. Let's get her face a little bit more here. And I get that you didn't want to outline her eye, so you did it with the dragon's blood. I see exactly what you did mm -hmm. um, to keep it soft. But it makes her look a little, um, I don't know, like albino-ish, a little yeah. anemic-ish. That was what, yeah. Yeah, I get it, and, and mm -hmm. I understand that. So what we're going to do is, is um, we'll keep her eyes hazel because that's your color, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're her. <laughs> have her look a little bit more over, and then just carry a little bit of that green into the shadow of the top of her eye. And I think that that's not quite right there. Of course, I'm working without any reference, but that's okay, we could fix it.
better on her face, right? Yes. That's great. Yeah. Oh, wow. Definitely. Right. Right. Definitely. 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 Yeah, and the chest. And I yeah. think that you could do the same kind of stuff that I did there, like to her arm maybe, you know, um, just little subtle things. Get some definition. A little yeah. definition, yeah. The face is just going to pop it yeah. off. With it. it looks very 3D. Okay. Thank you. It really is amazing. Well, it's got the shadow, yeah, yeah which we forget about. Yeah. yeah, that's so important. It's amazing how that just popped. Why about that little purple line under her chin? It seems to. Is that bothering you? That little, vi uh, it looks like a little blue. Is that bothering yeah, you? Um, like it should be a. It lo almost looks like it's a necklace. Let's instead. warm it up a little bit then. Is it possible to? Let's just warm it up. Just with a little glaze. That's just a little glazing. Just to warm it up a little bit. Didn't really bother me. Yeah, but I think it, no, yeah. I, I thought it did that. But I see it. I see what you're saying. To melt melt the face. Face. Can you see over there, Barbara? Yeah. You can? Okay, good. Because, you know, you, you can breathe down my neck. It doesn't bother me I at all. I have good, oops, good glasses. <laughs> she has x-ray vision. Okay. Now, um, I, can I do a little bit on her tutu? Absolutely. Okay, good. I can see a couple little things that I think will happen. I want to give her a waist, maybe like to separate where the tutu kind of starts and her waist was here. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> sexy scumble. Boy, I love this brush. <laughs> it's got a little bit and violet, I know. I'm very consistent. <clears throat> little texture. To carry you through it. Her dress. It's a crinoline feel. Mm. Oh, so the fabric has movement. A little bit, movement yeah, a little still. bit. It's it's wow. not all the same. It's There's right. some behind and some it's in front of. It's actually folding. Um, I'm going to push her leg a little bit here because there would be a little bit of a shadow, right in here. Where the dress comes over. Correct. It's just creating a tiny bit of a shadow. Maybe mm. fix a little bit of the shape of her leg a little bit here, her ankle and her calf, just by painting the background a little bit more. So you can shape things and get that shape back if you have to. And I think a shadow. And I think then, you know, then I, I feel like it's, we've really achieved quite a lot. Frame it up. Yeah. Yeah, I do want to frame it. Definitely frame it and definitely um, crop, it. crop it. Let's add a shadow. So where her toe is sort of touching, it's sort of on the edge here, but I think it's going to... Mm, I know. It's a little close to the edge. I don't, yeah, I'd like her up a little bit, but it still is going to work. Floated on top instead of uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. What? No, I was going to say that would be perfect if you could, like trimmed it and ripped the edges and then yeah. matted it. Do you guys you know how to do that? Did no. you ever see? Oh, and then oh. you won't lose any of that. Oh, the tape? No, no, no. Oh, I wasn't okay. going to do the tape. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Um, but um, the way that I do it is, well, <clears throat> you you may want to select a frame size first. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll get the size of the mat that I want to have in there, and I will pencil it on here. So whatever size that ends up being, right, whatever that is, you measure it. And OK, so and you want the, the, the deckled edge, right? Yeah. So let's say you, this is it. What I'll do is I will score it with, um, my exacto might be a little too, too sharp, cut, yeah. too sharp. But you could score it with, if, or if you do an exacto blade lightly, 
and then it'll this paper yeah. so good and, and then you rip it right. so you just put a little score in it and then and the fold it back to still the yeah. fibers will it will separate. it will exactly As right um I like your face now. <laughs> I think it nice. looks amazing. Yeah, yes, I agree. Really. Nice. 